गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टेक अ सब टॉपिक अंडर द वेस्ट वाटर ट्रीटमेंट प्रोसेस सो ट्रिकलिंग फिल्टर इज अगेन अ सब टॉपिक व्हिच इज गिवन अंडर द सेकेंडरी वेस्ट वाटर ट्रीटमेंट सो इट कम्स अंडर द एम एस सी ई वी एस सेमेस्टर थ्री पेपर वन दैट इज एडवांस पोल्यूशन कंट्रोल टेक्नोलॉजी यूनिट वन दैट इज वाटर एंड वेस्ट वाटर पोल्यूशन कंट्रोल एंड द टॉपिंग दैट इज सेट टू बी ट्रिकलिंग फिल्टर so what is the trickling filter before going to the trickling filter we must know what is a bio tower so bio tower bio towers are a new version of traditional trickling filter treatment unit so you can say that earlier uh, trickling filter treatment units are used but new version of the trickling filter is nothing but the bio towers and this is bio towers and the trickling filter both are relatively simple treatment units so both bio towers and trickling filter is one or the another way is the same thing but it is a you can say that it is very simple treatment units now coming up to the uh, topic we have already discussed about the activated sludge unit we have already talked about the aerated lagoons so bio towers it is similar to that of the trickling filter so you can say that it is one of the simple treatment unit now coming up to the trickling filter so today we are going to deal with the trickling filter so it is one of the component of the biological treatment units and we are going to discuss it, discuss it in detail so trickling filter you can say that it is one of the percolating filters or sprinkling filters so in one way you can say that trickling filters are also known as the percolating filters or the sprinkling filters because the water or the waste water which is used for the filtration it is normally distributed in the form of a sprinkles so that's why it is said to be percolating percolating filters or the sprinkling filters and the sewage is allowed to sprinkle so you can say that waste water is allowed to sprinkle over a bed of coarse rough hard materials and then collected through the undrainage system so you can say that the influent is allowed to sprinkle over a bed of the hard material and then the under drainage system is utilized for the rest of the process so you can say that this bed may be uh, you can say that this bed may be consisting of rocks and other materials which are hard rough and the coarse so in case of trickling filter we can see that the sewage is allowed to sprinkle or trickle over the bed of the rocks so you can say that that is why the waste which is sprinkled or trickle therefore it is said to be the trickling filters by means of trickle we are filtering the waste water so you can say that trickling filter is nothing but allowing the sewage to sprinkle over a bed of the um, hard material and after passing this waste water or the sewage uh through this hard material normally a bacterial film that is said to be the biofilms is formed around the particles of filtering medium so it is allowed to pass through a certain filtering media and after passing it you can say that here biofilms are formed around the particles of the filtering media and for the existence of this film and for the existence of this film the oxygen is supplied so you can say that the organism which is attached to the bile films they require certain amount of oxygen and which is to be supplied by intermittent work or the filters by means of filter we can air filters we can supply the oxygen and then by providing it 
a suitable ventilation facilities in the body of the filters so not only uh, the biofilms are supplied with oxygen but also facilitating the ventilation also the filtration is done normally the color of the filter is blackish greenish or yellowish in color so you can say that these filters or the films which are blackish greenish or yellowish in color and it is consisting this film you know that it is said to be the biofilm so if it is said to be the biofilm it is consisting of certain organisms so what are these organisms normally these organisms it is consisting of bacteria it is consisting of fungi it is consisting of algae it is consisting of lichens and protozoans so you can say that the sewage water or the waste water is allowed to pass through the film and this film is normally blackish greenish or yellowish in color and it contains or consisting of bacteria algae fungi lichens etc this is a picture of a trickling filters where here we can say that the waste is trickled or sprinkled through the media here the media is nothing but the rocks hard material is utilized over so here you can find out the media this is consisting of the hard material or bed of the rocks so these are the medias and inside and this waste water that is sprinkled over here or trickled over the bed and then it is uh, drained out so this is one example in this way this is one more picture where you can easily see the sewage water is sprinkled through the pipes so here sprinkling is done or trickling is done so in this way they are trickled through the beds so this is how normally the uh, trickling filters work so here we can find out a pipe this is a pipe from which the waste water or the sewage water is sprinkled or trickled onto the surface of the bed this is the bed which is said to be the filter and here the five pipe is provided that is said to be feed pipe from where we can provide the oxygen or aeration in order to uh, uh, you can say that in order to uh, make the growth of the uh, certain organism which is present on the bed and then the filter is done filtrate is collected over here so here the filtrate is collected and it is given out from the outlet so the waste effluent it is sprinkled and it passes through a bed that is said to filter and for the growth of this biofilms or bioorganisms we used to supply air as well as the ventilation and after that the drained water which is collected and then it is subjected to the secondary clarifier so this is the working of the trickling filter next here the same principle you know that here the water is sprayed from the head so it is sprinkled or trickled and influent influent normally pass through this pipe then it is transferred to the sprinkle head here it is sprinkled or trickled and it is then passes through a medium that is any type of medium hard medium coarse medium or rough medium and then the effluent drained waste water uh, is collected and this effluent is passed on to the secondary clarifier here also you can see the same thing that is it is sprinkled waste water is sprinkled passed through the medium then it is drained out water is 
next pass on to the clarifier and it is clarified and it is again repumped or recycled if it is required so in this way it works this is a picture of a biofilm so you can see here the picture of a biofilm it is normally polyhedral in shape now coming up to the types of trickling filter so the trickling filter are broadly divided into the two categories that is first one is said to be the standard rate trickling filter and the second one is said to be the high rate trickling filter why it is said to be the standard rate trickling filter because because the rate of loading is low so you can say that a high rate trickling filters jo hota hai here the rate of loading is high so you can say that the high rate trickling filters are similar to the standard so high rate trickling filters they are similar to the um, similar to the standard rate trickling filters except that except that the rate of loading for high rate trickling filters is more so here the rate of loading loading jitna jyada amount of water hum load kar sakte hain that is waste water load kar sakte hain it is more in case of high rate trickling filters so rate of loading is more in case of high rate trickling filters standard rate here the rate of loading is low as compared to the high next the shape of the trickling filters is normally circular and the or the rectangular forms but we can find out in most of the operational unit you can find out the circular type of the trickling filters are normally utilized and um, as compared to that of the rectangular ones next coming up to the filter medium so the standard rate trickling filters the filter media uh, that is uh, it is consisting of the crushed rock you can say that next is consisting of uh, or the clinkers or manufactured material so the filter media is, is either may be the crushed rock or maybe clinkers or certain manufactured materials and it has got a uniform size this is the most important factor it is it has an uh, it is essential to provide filtering media of the uniform size and the size of particles which depends normally upon the type of trickling filter kaun sa prakar ka trickling filter hai uske anusar particle ke size of the particle is decided but it generally varies from 30 mm to 80 mm so size it varies normally the size is between 30 mm to 80 mm so this was a certain characteristic of the standard rate trickling filters now coming up to the high rate trickling filters you know that here the rate of the loading is high and the operating cost is low in case of high rate trickling filters we can find out the operating cost is low and there is absence of bad smell here you cannot find out the bad odor so here we cannot find out the bad odor or that you can say that there is an absence of the bad smell so these are the two type of trickling filter which is normally utilized in most of the waste water treatment plants now coming up to the so here you can find out the biofilms and these are almost having the uniform size the size of the particles or biofilms are normally uniform in size here you can find out the waste water it is trickled so trickling filters or influent is passed on to the pipes from where it is sprinkled on to the media so this is the media it may be manufactured material it may be rocks crushed rocks etc etc so it passes through it it is drained off and after it drained off this effluent passed on to the clarifier 
here it passes to the clarifier here a rotatory blade is there and after that this sludge which settles that is well is there so it gets settled over sludge is separated and rest work upar wala top ka jo pani hai it is again pumped out and it is recycled again to this trickling filters or you can say that it is one type of treatment unit so it is again passed on to it is passed through a certain organism or filter media it is again drained out and then it is passes through the clarifier secondary clarifier it is again repumped out and then after it settle the first it is collected then it is pumped out and it is again recycled in this way this operation works that is trickling filters what it does it separates the sludge organic matter from the waste water by means of certain biological organism for today this is enough in the next lecture we are going to continue that will be the last lecture for the uh, secondary treatment process thank you thank you for watching